Mm-hmm. Anyway, let's talk about Saints Row first. So this has been it was delayed from earlier this year. It's been in the uh, I think we heard about it for the first time. Was it last year or was it two years ago that we heard? It was, it was rumored a... for a while. Um, announced yeah, last, last year though? was the official. I think it was announced last year. Yeah. So and then I feel so like it was a quick turnaround. Like it was kind of yeah, announced and then a bunch of press yeah. came out. No, it was it's been heavily. It was a couple of years ago because I remember Keeley being oh, okay. like. I'm really excited about this. It's it's one guy making this, and then he showed the trailer, and I was like, oh, no, one guy making this. Row. Like, Saints, Saints Row. Saints Row. Okay, I'm sorry. I thought we were talking about the other one. Mm-mm. Yeah, no, you're right. That is true about Midnight Fight Express. Um, but for Saints Row, I believe that was last year that it was officially announced. Okay. Then it was delayed from the spring to August, and it is now here. And sure, critically, it's getting mixed reviews and whatever else, but we've got a couple of folks who are playing it, and I believe having some fun. So tell me what you guys think about Saints Row. I, I have not gotten this game yet. It's it's one of those that I'll probably grab on sale. I own the other Saints Row, Row, Saints Row games. I've played <laughs> them, I mean, maybe a combined four or five hours. So, like, I have never really dug into these. These are meaty games. They're they're very, to the kind of games that, like, if you like that loop and if you like that wackiness, you can get lost in it and just play it for long, especially if you have buddies to play with. Like, it can be a blast. I get that. I just yeah. never really got the hooks in me. But I never had anything but I never had like negative thoughts toward truly negative thoughts toward this series. And this game sounds like it's more Saints Row. Is that fair to say? Or is it more than that? Yeah, unapologetic, unapologetically more, I would even say, you know, mm-hmm. um, I think, um, you know, they um, really just knew what what Saints Row and just continue to just do that. And, and you know, if you're looking for innovation and stuff like that, that's not here. And boy, if this game was going to come out like six months ago or four months ago, I can't even believe what state it would be in you know because there's mm. some this uh, derpy is is what bro uh, bruce green called it you know like he he didn't want to call it like uh, you know it's it's br- <laughs> not broken you can play the game but yeah, like yeah. there's yeah there's like weirdness to it all all about it like all, all the yeah, way from janky. the physics yeah j- jank yeah Lots you know yeah. um you know but like in a fun way so i think that's why he calls mm-hmm. it derpy so like when the jank happens you're like <laughs> okay well, that's kind of silly <laughs> um you know so um and it's all kind of part of the charm because it's always kind of been there you know these like it's kind of always... like skyrim right like when a body when mm, you yeah hit yeah and, like, the, the, the physics like when there. a door hits a, a dead yeah. body and like the body flop like Hilarious. ricochets all over the room yeah it's, sure when you look at it you're like well, boy they could have worked that out or whatever but also <laughs> yeah. you get a little laugh you know <laughs> Yeah. Um, you know, and there's there's other little things that like you uh, um, that uh, like, there's no cover system in this game, you know. So if you're used to like uh, third person shooters having like snapping in a cover and stuff like mm-hmm. that, it, yeah. you you might be searching for that naturally just from playing other games. So that's not here, but it's never been I, in the series. Either, I was so. I was looking for that at the beginning too. I was like, oh, I actually yeah, couldn't believe it. And I was, I like, was like, wow, they didn't put covers si- all these years later. They didn't have a cover. I system, thought the same but... thing about Just Cause. I'm like, if they added that to Just Cause, I might play this game a lot more. Yeah, it's and and I can give you an answer and none of us will be happy with it because i don't i'm giving you the answer but i'm not happy with it you know they want you to move around and be mobile and just cause and in this they want you to run up and do and be really aggressive but dude sometimes i just want to snap into cover you know like it's uh you know it it feels natural in the game space these days so uh, i you know that that is something that i was just like i'm surprised they didn't add that you know uh you know another another, uh, you know pseudo gripe i have is that like uh, in open world games, especially these like uh, I don't want to call them GTA games, but these crime-based open world games, which I guess would be a GTA game. Yeah, that's the, 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 I can think of. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. yeah, the like mafia, you know, like oh, yeah. the mafia, soundtrack yeah. is you. Yeah. The soundtrack is usually a banger. You know what I mean? Yeah. Not so much here. Um, <laughs> uh, not a lot. Yeah. Not a lot of good songs. In fact, a lot of artists I've never heard of before. Not you know maybe some classics here and there. Uh, but uh, few and far between, and it's just uh, it's it's not something like I'm I'm kind of excited to turn the radio off like when I get in the car. So. Maybe they went moment. the cheap route because yeah, but budget. Embracer Group, all that budget, China yeah. money, man, they couldn't they couldn't <laughs> you know they couldn't get some licenses. But you're right, Derek, you're absolutely right. You know, it is a big money savings when you oh, don't. Big, have that's to, a huge corner to cut. Yeah, right. that you don't have to like go into it. But you know, Saints Row is known for having you know like lots of great uh, uh you know uh, songs on them. You know, there's even moments in Saints throw like three where like you're in the car like with an fpc and you know and y'all sing y'all sing it together y'all sing a sublime song together you know like and like your two npcs are singing and it's like a moment and it's like boy they paid a lot of money for this but like you know the third saints for the third is when you jump out of a plane and they're playing trust stronger right or uh, yeah is it stronger it's the that's three the 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 plane well i don't know what song it is but yeah that's three of the plane i know uh, some kanye yeah 
It is Kanye, some, but it's not strong. Strong is a song Daft is Punk playing. song. It's not it. That's not it. But it's it's a Kanye song for sure. And yeah. I'm like, that's that's thousands of dollars in licensing. Yeah. Like yeah. that's. So you know, <laughs> Derek is absolutely right. It is a money saver, but it's also yeah. um, you know something that's not. I'm yeah. used to Saints Row there being like some money poured into that, Same. but uh, so, I doubt like, a lot of people are like playing this game to like jam out to the radio stations. It's a big part of it for me, but you know, I, I know it's probably yeah. a smaller qualm for others. Yeah, so I did, I, last I, release was kind of a. Uh, a dud like agents of mayhem didn't do well it, it was a dud yeah so yeah. that's why i was thinking i'm not i don't have any proof this is just me thinking business wise like they put a lot of money into advertisement because it i did. think they wanted this to be a hit so they may have cut corners in other areas mm -hmm. i think i think um, you're right yeah i, th I think that sounds right sense, and uh, they're, the they're, they're they're and this is you know this is one of those like mass appeal games too so it's trying to it's trying to grab like every demographic that exists out there so, so tell, me about the, tell me about the go to the beginning tell me about the character creator because this to me sounds like one of the highlights tell me about that because i feel like that's you the yeah i i made me because i always, i'm a egomaniac but like jeff why don't you t talk about it because you <laughs> always make derpy people so i make the dumbest looking people in saints row games uh so i mean without getting us just, canceled describe it even if you oh, <laughs> oh my god oh boy, i can't <laughs> see now i can't describe my exact character uh but um <laughs> Even if you just hit a randomize, like just hit Y, I think it's Y or whatever the equivalent of Y is on freaking yeah. PS controllers. Uh, the uh, it's you still get hilarious results out of that. Like it sometimes you get a cool one, and then sometimes you get something derpy. And as the first time I got something derpy, I was like, I'm gonna stick with that. And I made like it's this uh, woman uh, who's who's packing. She's packing, and uh, she's got a big she's one. Like guns. guns. She's, she's got guns. a big. She's got a big area. Let me just uh, she's got you know, a down there. Like, like, and, uh, like unpacking. Yeah. And <laughs> Jeff unpacked. And, and what, she, uh, what she was packing. she's got like a really derpy. I, Kyle, I think you chose a southern accent. Kyle's too. stuck. Oh, he's stuck. <laughs> he's bewildered. By he what heard I'm the saying. word unpacking and he left. All right, I'm just making sure I'm not. Yeah, we're all. It's just Kyle. Okay. <laughs> He's like, you said I'm packing. I'm the. But I, uh, I Dude, that timing I, was great though. Yeah. I gave her this derpy southern accent where it's like, well, shoot, y'all, and it's like really low pitched. Oh, um, and uh, you just wanted to all, laugh every time your her teeth are all jacked up. She's got these pigtails yeah. that are like really stupid. She's got a big cheeks and jaw, and uh, take a screenshot and send it to us. We need yes. to include this. Yeah, it's she's she's hideous, dude. It's hilarious. She's, she's, um, it, yeah, but but. You get you get to pick like the sensor for your genitals and stuff. It's it's ridiculous. It's <laughs> as so ridiculous funny. as the other games. So like what like <clears throat> like a black bar as opposed like to emojis, like emojis uh, for oh, your okay. or for your wiener or uh, sure sure <laughs> or whatever. Like yeah, I don't know. There it is. Uh, it's a little silly, uh, but yeah, I had a lot. I had a lot of fun going through every single option just to see what was there, um, and some of them I just left them as is because I'm like okay, I don't have time. It's kind of like the WWE one where you're like I don't have time to do all this. So let's yeah. move on. Mm -hmm. um, but it's 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 for at the beginning it's kind of a lot, and then I understand you unlock just you just keep unlocking stuff as you go on, uh, yeah, yeah, gather yeah. money and can afford to buy more customizable stuff. Yeah, uh, it's good though. And the gun customizing is is in the game too. Like the um, I'm having fun with that, and I think they. They've been doing that. I mean, they've yeah, did that. Yeah, and you four, unlock perks eight. for your gun too. So yeah. like, there'll be skills and okay. stuff that you unlock by like I don't know, like maybe you shoot eight people in the head or something like that. And then like there's yeah. always some kind of mission. There's challenges, you know? yeah. yeah. Or is challenge that a skill a that sticks word. with your character after you do that? Or is yeah, that or that gun, gun, you know, that, that type gun? of gun. Like yeah. you'll unlock a certain yeah. skill for that gun. Like I, I did it for my shotgun, and now I have like shredder ammo, like which just goes through like armor and stuff like that. So it's like. So and, and you do that for the car too. So if you're driving a car, like it'll have a challenge for you. And when you complete that challenge and you take your car back to your garage, you can unlock a specific perk design for that car. Um, That's cool. So there's there's a lot of really cool like customization and stuff like that. And and there's some really you know uh, I was saying there's not a lot of innovation there. There is one uh, kind of interesting way of like uh, grounding you more in the world when interacting with um, uh, like fast travel systems. You know, so in most games like you. You know, you press start, you, uh, you know, click on a, a town you've been to before and you just go there. You know, it's kind of a disconnected experience or whatever. Uh, and this cool. one, you have to find uh, landmarks, take pictures of them 
And then that becomes like a fast travel point or whatever. But it kind of cements like, ah, that's like where that big thing is or whatever. I remember finding that. That's a cool idea. Fast travel there real quick, you know. Uh, Also like to customize stuff or get new materials for like your weapons or your clothes and stuff like that. You'll take pictures in like what you call like photo challenges. And this is how I like taking pictures in games. I know people like just taking pictures like because they're, you know, photographers like in games. But like this is like a mechanic in the game where if you take certain pictures of things in the environment... Uh, you unlock like maybe the way that that thing is built or maybe you unlock the entire statue so you can put that statue like in in your HQ or whatever or maybe you uh, you know uh, unlock a certain material that you can like put on your gun and stuff like that and there's all sorts of little like missions like that that you can uh, go down the rabbit hole of you know and that that, that stuff is like pretty unique and stuff and I feel like it really grounds you uh, in in this like a really dumb wacky world yeah, and um, I, feel, I think and, another thing that's grounding it is the uh, interplay between, like, the main four characters. Like, th- you have your character that you're playing, mm-hmm. and then that person's, like, three homies or whatever. Yep. Uh, like, I feel like their dialogue's just more fleshed out in this. Like, their relationship's just more fleshed out, who each person mm-hmm. is. Um, yeah. And how you're kind of starting at the bottom with them together. Barely I enjoy the banter, time. you know? Yeah. It's goofy. I mean, it's not going to be for everybody, for sure. You know, like, yeah. it's, uh, you know, it's 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 going to be one of those things where if, if the characters aren't doing it for you, you're never going to care about, like, you know, what's yeah, going yeah. on the story. Yeah, I'm but, into uh, it. Yeah. yeah, but there, there's, some, there's some really cool relationships there. You all come from a different gang, you know, so when you all, you know, like, have to strike it out on your own, you're all, like, taking kind of, like, elements of the other gangs in the area, like, into this new venture with you. And, uh, you know, with that, with that comes knowledge of those gangs from those characters. And, like, they all, they, everyone feels important and they all have a role and stuff like that. It's just not, like, three talking heads, you know? Yeah. Um, so I'm enjoying that, you know? They put some thought into that, you know? I'm, I'm not saying the story is revolutionary. Or they talked the about of... the story building up to the game, about how there's yeah, there's they did, more they of did. an emphasis. You know, and I, if you look at reviews, I mean, you know, <laughs> stories are always going to be subjective and, and, and stuff like that. But, like, you know, uh, some people are really enjoying it and some people, like, can't stand it. So, you know, it, it. It, your mileage, mileage is going to vary. It sounds like Jeff and I are, are enjoying yeah. kind of, like, uh, at least kind of where things are going. Uh, uh, there LARPing, I guess, is in for video games. There's there's a whole LARPing mission chain in this, and much oh, like wow. like much like Life is Strange, it is easily the best thing I've played in this game. It's mm. absolutely so much fun. Uh, you use Nerf guns and stuff, and when you do like the kill animations, like you're pulling your punches, you know, like uh, uh, you know, like because you're play fighting or whatever. And it's mm. uh, and that's the other thing is like there's there's kill animations in this. So like as you build up a meter, you can run up to people and do really elaborate kill animations like uh, some are directly taken from movies like there's three or four actual john wick moves there's uh, uh daniel sons you know uh karate kids uh, crane kick and stuff like that the same exact way he does it you know like there's all these like actual i think there's something from ung bak like there's a couple like Ooh, you know elbow like strikes elbows, and dude. knees yep elbow like strikes elbows, and knees man. yeah Tony yeah ja. so it's, Tony Job, like yeah, Tony Job moveset, you know. So like, there's all these really cool animations and stuff like that uh, that you're building up to. And boy, every time I activate one of those, it's so uh, cool. big smiles, major smiles for me. I, know, I so. did one where where he where she pulls out a knife and just like yeah. does like the John Wick thing, and it's it's so satisfying, dude. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. So and and that's kind of like Watchdoggies, you know. I I, I yeah. actually feel a lot of Watchdogs like in this game. Oh, okay. Even though I'm not a huge yeah. Watchdogs fan. Uh, you know, I, there's a lot of I elements, not only visually, because I know there's an actual character that looks like a Watchdogs character with like the uh tele like the tel- uh, the TV screen face and stuff uh, like that. But like, like the emojis or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. I, I, you know, but I I mean beyond that, I mean like there's a lot of like elements of the mechanics and stuff like that that feel sure. kind of uh Watchdog the dogsy and stuff like that. So. Okay. Um, and the open world just feels like an open world, you know. There's, mm. no, it's not reinventing the wheel or anything like this. But uh, you can buy ventures and, like, you know, I, I bought a waste plant to put down, and that that accumulates money for you. And you're you're constantly doing missions for them and clearing out the areas of bad guys and stuff like that. It's always keeping you engaged in these areas and cleaning mm. up areas, and you you'll create more revenue, you know. Uh, so it's all about creating this empire, and it actually feels like you're creating an empire as you're buying more properties and setting more uh, businesses there and I didn't running know there those was businesses. This. A man- business management element to this game. Yeah, economy. yeah. I, 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 ne- I never made that hype video, so, uh, you know, <laughs> yeah. uh, there's probably a lot of this stuff that y'all didn't know. Um, but yeah, yeah, there's this major business venture, you know, that you're that you're you're pulling out. I have, like, six different businesses all open up new types of mission types and, and side quests and stuff like that. Sounds very um, Godfather, right? The, can you the Godfather very Godfather. Very good call. That's exactly what it's like. Can you open like, a uh, power wash 
business and then power wash simulate your way through the <laughs> no but you can open a laundromat so. oh okay. tim, right, that's good tim. tim get it please get excited i'm in, tim. I'm in. get excited tim okay. all right so I'm... and derek you were gonna get this game but you didn't right your order got canceled so now you're on like a wait and see with this one right okay so yeah i mean i'll make it quick but i or i was excited because i got it from cd keys for 33 dollars. but this is where now i'm having issues with epic games because this is an Epic Games exclusive. I hear for it's. A year. I hear it's like broken on Epic Games. Is what I'm. Yeah. Well, wondering. and that's yeah. that's part of my story. Is so I ended up getting my order canceled. They refunded me thirty three dollars because I just think CD Keys didn't have a key from Epic Games. Right. I think it's harder for them to get Epic Game keys than it is for them to get Steam. So then I yep. still really wanted to play this game. So I was like all day. I was like checking it. I was like, dude, just buy it. So I bought it from Epic Games. I was like, I had already gotten my refund. So. I paid the extra twenty seven dollars. I paid sixty bucks. I played an hour. I enjoyed it. I saw the things that I would call objective issues, but I was still having fun. Like my expectations. I had watched enough reviews that I was like, all right. I, first of all, I, would, I didn't have super high expectations, but I they moved down to where I could play and be like, this is just fun. This is an open world arcadey shooter that's silly. And as long as I'm okay with that, I will enjoy this. The only reason I asked for a refund is because it crashed. Um, and I, I had other issues. And I was like, look, I've watched enough reviews where every one of them that were reviewing it, that were having issues, were, were talking about the PC side. I said, I'm not paying $60 for a game I feel like I should only pay $30 for and buy a broken version of it. So, yep. yeah, I decided to to refund that order and i am gonna buy it in fact i check but I, I, i've heard CD the same thing every day they, just having problems yeah yeah they just need it patched it, again this is where i think this is i don't think this is a small developer but i don't think they have uh the infrastructure to handle all these different versions and make sure they all run perfectly I think there's even issues on PS5, Xbox Series X, all that stuff. So I think yeah, there's, there's just issues too many everywhere. Tiers. I, think, I think PC had it the worst because I was watching oh, yeah. Bruce play it and it was crashing constantly. They couldn't well, Bruce and Lawrence couldn't a, play co-op together at all. You know, like it's if it would it's just mainly crash a every time they load a mission. Game, which Saints Row is mainly a console game. Is, yeah. That's where they're yeah. gonna make sure it runs the yeah. best, and then PC kind of gets you know Shafted. left over. I would but suggest yeah, there, though, that this there, game is ripe for mods, so it seems to me that PC will be the place where it should flourish. Yeah, right? I agree with that. Yeah, yeah I exactly. think they will fix it, and by the time well, on they Steam, fix let it, people mod it. Yeah, I yeah. will get it for twenty or thirty bucks. Well, we gotta wait till twenty twenty three for Steam, so that's annoying. All right, there's nothing coming out in twenty twenty three. I hope they put it out in February. No. Um, <laughs> I will I definitely buy it though. I hope that's gonna <laughs> Dude, dry spell for 2023. Total right? dry spell. Guys, I, best, best guys I, I don't mean to be the bearer of bad news. Everything's getting delayed, go. Oh, Kyle, 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 you shut your damn mouth, Kyle. You all of it, all of 2023. Kyle, you're no longer a predictor. You're now like I was a in the middle of, like, I'm a soothsayer is what I, I, I was literally, I was literally in the middle of playing Saints Row like a couple hours ago and the developer knocked on my door and took my digital download. <laughs> you're like copy. delayed. This is delayed. This, this is delayed, delayed actually. Delayed. You're not allowed. How do you have this? This is delayed. Thanks, and, then, and then and then he comes back and there's a text message on his phone. And it's me going, and, and if you, and for the listeners, it's me doing finger guns. Yeah, at the screen. Gun. So. Yep, yep, yep. Oh my god. Awesome. So in general, uh, it's the recommendation I've heard from folks is if you like Saints Row games, you'll enjoy this. Just yeah. going with the right expectations. This is not like a yeah. instant classic, top of the line, but it's not. It's also not a broken mess. Like, um, and all, but also, please do not play this if you never like Saints Row games. <laughs> Yeah. Like it, this is not going to win you over. You know, it's uh, what's frustrating. It's not, even, though, it's not even trying to win you over. Yeah, so. That's fair. That's what's fair. frustrating yeah. though is all the all the douches on social media that were complaining prior to the game even coming out just because the characters looked like hipster, for example. Yeah. And now yeah. and now it's almost like Which it's they're, almost getting like their, they're getting their. They're getting their. I told you so. Yeah. yeah. They're having they're having their but fun for sure. Yeah. So it's like whatever, guys. Like. Yep. I hate I'm having fun. I, don't, I really don't give a shit. I'm having fun. No, I don't either. It's just annoying because those people suck and they're like, I'm right. I'm right. Yeah. I don't well, give that's a, why I, I don't give a hoot away from bigger groups is because that's what it always com becomes, especially if you're in like an unlocked mm. or a beyond yeah. where it's a specific like, oh, an Xbox game came out and it's trash. Let's yeah. talk about how we knew it was trash. Blah, blah, blah. So I get tired of that yeah, where yeah. it's just like, can we talk to the people that either are playing the game or actually had an interest in the game or and being critical because 
they're disappointed and they were actually interested. You don't get that. A lot of times you just get yeah. people that were never interested and they just want to throw they it in your face. Their, uh, they just get their bias confirmed. That's what they want. They just want. Yeah, well, that's all they want is to be yeah. told that they're right. Yeah, as yeah. Bill Burr Absolutely. says, you just go to I'm right dot com, find something that agrees with you already and then throw it back. <laughs> yeah, boom, yeah. Bing, bang, boom, you know. <laughs> Uh, speaking speaking of podcasts saw. beyond, uh, uh, how, how do you think that that group was last week when Death Stranding oh, got announced on Game Game Pass? You think they, they were cordial about suicide. that? Some of them are still hospitalized, I think. Mass yeah, suicide. yeah, I would have loved to sneak into that group uh, last week to, to see all that mess, you know? <laughs> oh, man. That's probably oh, my God! Well, I'm what so they... glad I only ever joined our group. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Is there a yeah. term when, like, it, pertaining to religion, would just, like, a huge group of people just commit mass suicide? Is there a term for that, or...? Yeah, like it's called Waco, Texas. Like a cult? Waco, yeah, it's called Jamestown. <laughs> oh, 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 like, uh, so that's what happened in the Beyond group. Literally drinking the, like a, yeah, drinking, yeah, drinking the Kool-Aid? Yeah, drinking Yeah, they all drink the Kool-Aid and yeah. laid down. Mm -hmm. Never woke mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. No, that's, uh, that's Heaven's Gate, isn't it? Yeah. Heaven's Gate. It's Jamestown. <laughs> but they both, Jonestown, not Jamestown. Or Jonestown. Oh, it's Jonestown. Jonestown. Yeah, I don't know. Jamestown is an actual city. That's a massacre. There was a massacre there. Wasn't that's... Jonestown, like, in Central America somewhere? It was, yeah. Anyway. Guys, we're not. This is not a history. There's podcast. a whole documentary about it. It's great. Go check it out. Point is, this is if you like Saints Row games, you're gonna like this game. Yeah, yeah. If but you yeah. don't like Saints Row games, also, then you yeah. don't don't play it. It's then you're gonna awesome. join it's a cult. It's okay to wait it. a little while and let it get right. updated, and you know, by the time it's on sale, it's probably gonna be playing better than it's ever played before. And I can probably I guarantee that because so. that's how games work. So I have a gift card to Target that would yeah. knock the game price down, but but I can't buy a PC version. Is it worth playing on PS5? You know I'm a graphics whore. Does it look good? I think like, it looks great. Gonna, I, I, I mean, I, I don't think you're going to like no, it, but I, I think, like, it. for a Saints Row game, like, it, 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 it's very vibrant. Like, the colors are, like, they pop really well. I, I, it's more colorful than most open-world games, you know, I, I, I would, I would I say. I to buy it cheaper on PS5 and just let it be my casual game. It sounds still... like that's where it's most, like, stable, too, is, like, on the new, yeah, and the next-gen PS5 and Xbox uh, Series just X. Keep, so keep your like... expectations for the technical visuals low. Just keep those expectations. They're already low because they're when, not. Well, when I was actually playing the game, it was fine. When I was like watching cut scenes and the action scenes, I was like, okay, this is like really yeah. old looking. And yeah. like, I'm talking like, that's not like gonna go, and that's not going away. Yeah. Feels like a previous Dude, gen. We should yeah. do a whole episode like where, we, where we talk about cut scenes because I still remember back in the PS1 days, because none of the Nintendo systems did this, but when PS1, yeah. a Final Fantasy VII especially, would go to these epic cut scenes. It just, dude, I sat back in my chair in my room yeah. back in 1998 or whatever year it was that I played yeah. that game. And I was just like, oh, the, um, suddenly the graphics get what 17 is, times better. You know? the, yeah, F, 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 then it would come back to the game right? where Cloud just has two FMBs, big box right? hands. You're walking like this. FMBs, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was my own. I still, yeah. to this you day, can actually see Cloud's hands. They're not I still polygons. to this day get my, like, with the PS2 when it was uh, Final Fantasy X. Yeah, and that, 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 that first too. FMV of, like, when Titus is sitting there, like, getting ready for that Blitzball oh, match. So and good. then, like, everything yeah. starts happening. It's like, holy shit, this is real life. This I can't believe watching the trailer stuff. for that and going, like, they're voice, they're, they have voices. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 And then Alexander, the last Alexander attacking the city, or is it defending the city, in Final Fantasy VII? Wasn't yes. that in seven? Yes, uh, when Bahamut and Alexander nine. are nine, it's nine. Yeah. Crazy. The way you're, the yeah. way you're looking when you think to yourself looks like you're asking Dan on my screen. Is he? Is he? Is he this like, direction? He's the person to ask. He's right? the direction. So, yeah. Oh, he's this way. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. you're hey, looking Dan. that way. You see. You see. No, no, D Which Dan, you have to it? face the other way Let's... for me. Oh. <laughs> see, there you go. Yeah. For me, I'm in the top left. So I have to look down at you guys. Like, hey. <laughs> It's the very it's very Brady bunch. Like, hey guys, what's going on? Man? Well, Tim, hey. if you flip off towards the sky, you'd be flipping Derek off for me. So if you wanna stop Damn, it. That's <laughs> stop uh, it. He didn't really flip stop me off. It. No, he didn't. He He's did too it. nice. Why He's I too oughta. nice. Why? Why I oughta? <laughs> to the moon. 